imao sam deset godina kada je to sve počelo, ja sam iz Bijeljne, mi sjećam se da smo preko noći da je stari barikadirao vrata, jer su preko noći bukvalno nestajale familije. Odi ovam! Odi ovam! Koje pucu sad malo? Ne znam gdje sebi. Koje pucu? Pa ne znam koga je. Najveći ono pakao i najveća zla su se dešavala nakon što su Arkanovci zauzeli taj grad. Tako da je dosta ljudi nakon toga ubijeno, protjerano. Imao sam dva člana familije koji su bili u konstitucijnom logorima u Batkovićima. Svećam se kada je Arkan sletio u moje školsko dvorište s helikopterom i postrojio svoje vojnike. Hvala im! To ti Milan ne pišem ovo pismo Da vidiš di smo i da svi isti nismo Moj će mi zamjer da li tako ja biram Namjera je iskrena i zato sam miran na njihov Milan je moj dobar prijatelj i mirovni aktivista I ja sam družit se s njim učestvo u par njihovih radionica Gdje su oni radili sa vojnim veteranima i sa omladinom Mi smo dosta razgovarali o tome šta će biti kad takva pesma izađe Ko su oni koji će biti protiv? Teško je drugima izraziti sučut Tvoji će te šutnut, a oni pljunut Zloupotrijebit u novi sukob kurnut I tako će vatre opet buknut Htio sam ja, a i on zajedno smo nekako zajedno gradili taj tekst Da pokažem da razumijem strahove drugih ljudi Zato što ja slične te strahove nosim u sebi Dialog je jako potreban svima nama Mislim da to ne može biti nam uvezeno sa zapada I ne može nam donijeti visoki predstavnik I čak mislim da ne mogu to političari Ja mislim da kod nas ne postoje dovoljno iskreni i dobri političari Kod mogu tu priču da započnu Mislim da to stvarno treba počne od običnih ljudi, od građana Samo tako može doći do tog nekog pomirenja Ako nije dobro u Bosni, onda neće biti dobro ni u Srbiji, niti u Hrvatskoj Kad danas u Bosni ljudi kažu više nije rat Onda ako ih pitamo kao, a je li mir? Pa jeste, čim nije rat onda je mir Ako malo onda dublje uđete u razgovor i pitate šta u stvari mir znači Mir znači da se osjećam sigurno, da se osjećam dobro, da mogu da da se krećem slobodno, da imam sve potrebe zadovoljene, onda kažu ljudi da, onda da, mi ne živimo u miru. I šta je onda ovo, ako nije mir i ako nije rat? Pitanje sigurnosti je ono što je problem. Ako ja putujem kroz Bosnu, onog trenutka kad uđem u neko selo ili mesto, ja po boji znakova koje označavaju ulice ili po zastavama koje vise znam da li sam tu dobro došao ili nisam. Dakle, ne osjećam se sigurno. Još uvek imam mesta u kojima... Možda nije baš pametno da uveče u kafiću kažem kako se zovem, onda dakle ne govorimo o sigurnom prostoru, o sigurnosti koja nam je potrebna da bi se osjećali bolje. Baš ti mladi koji se ne sjećaju nekih ratnih zbivanja, koji ne sjećaju se, ne znam, eksplozije granate i svega toga, koji su se rodili posle rata, jel? da su čak i veći nacionalisti od ljudi koji su možda českovali rad. Znam teško je kad te obtužuju stalno i kad čuješ od mojih onu genocida narod. Nisi takav i kontam nije lako, zna i ti, ja ne mislim tako. Pročitao sam komentar momke iz Trebinja koji poziva Frenkija i kaže dođi u Trebinje, a ne znam tačno kako je rekao, ali Slično onom, neće ti dlaka s glave faliti, napravit ćemo ti koncert i bravo za ovo. Ja mislim da ova pesma u tom smislu ohrabruje malo ljude, kao ako je sad Frenki imao hrabrosti da to izgovori, pa ajmo i mi malo da budemo hrabri i da izgovorimo. Teško je drugima izraziti sučut, tvoji će te šutnut, a oni pljunut. Možemo drugima izraziti sučut, ili još 20 godina ovako u krug. Jedan, dva, jedan, dva. Pazi ovo sad. Some Bosnian hip hop for you today. Jedan, dva. Check, check. Ok. Ra, ra, da, da. Ra, da, 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 da. Oni hoće samo ra, ra, da, da. Ra, da, 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 da. Oni traže samo ra, ra, da, da. Ra, da, 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 da. Oni hoće samo ra, ra, da, da. Ra, da, 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 da. 
Thank you. I hope you understand that song. I hope your Bosnian is good. Well, it's a funny language, I know. Well, this song that I performed right now is for young people in Bosnia and the Balkans. And because young people, my experience is that young people listen to hip hop more than their parents and their teachers. Parents get always scared when I tell them this, but it's the truth, I'm sorry. Um, as you can see in the movie, I, I'm from Bosnia, I had the chance to witness civil war firsthand. Matter of fact, I moved to Germany in the 90s. I used to live in Germany for six years, went to school there, had my first girlfriend there, my first beer, my second beer, all the fun stuff. But uh, later on, I realized that some changes are going on in my class. I, I saw that some of my friends started to change a little bit. They started to shave their heads, started to wear some black boots, and that was the, that was the, that was the time where this neo-Nazi movement was getting popular in a smaller town like mine. And I can tell you, it was not funny for me. Um, uh, later on in the ninth grade, we had a school trip to, to the concentration camp Dachau in Bavaria. So we went on the bus with our teachers and we went to visit this big complex. And you, as you can imagine, it was, it was a quite intense and emotional moment when we entered this big complex, especially for my Nazi friends, because we saw these pictures of, you know, dead people, old clothes, old shoes, and stuff like that. We, of course, talked about that visit for a long time after it. And I could see again that some changes is going on in my class. My Nazi friends started to grow their hair again, sneakers replaced their, shoe, their, their boots, and I could see the shame in their eyes and, and their faces because they realized what they were representing. Um, this moment, this visit, this trip to Dachau stuck for me for a long time. I even remember it often in Bosnia when I see these young kids in Bosnia. They remind me a lot of my Nazi friends back in school in Germany. Like I said in the movie, uh, young kids today in Bosnia are more nationalists like, even more nationalists like their parents or even soldiers who participated in the war. And the problem is in Bosnia that we don't have our school trips to, to our Dachau. We don't have kids from Banja Luka visiting Srebrenica or kids from Tuzla and Sarajevo visiting Kazani where some war crimes on the Serbs were committed. And that's, of course, if you ask me, a big mistake. So, yeah, that's some of the topics I rap about in my music. Tough stuff, I know. But, you know, I see it as my duty to write about stuff like this and to react, to stand up for what is right and to give back a little bit because hip-hop music taught me a lot. Actually, my critical thinking, um, my activism, all that came somehow through hip-hop. And now I am in a position where I have a little power and I try to be constructive and positive with that. I have like one line that was a big inspiration for me writing this song and writing almost all of my songs. On Bosnian it goes 
mi smo ti koji smo čekali. And in English it means, if we don't react, who will? Because we are the ones who we are waiting for. Thank you.